So here we are. We first started working with um, pictures that they sent me from their chasana. And um, the goal wasn't to make a portrait, but to make a reasonable, um, uh, reasonable look like them. And to also, I had kind of a free reign to incorporate uh, some just more abstraction, just painterly things and dreaminess. And instead of the base of Mikdash, they wanted 770 up in the corner. So it kind of went through many changes as I worked on it. Um, they are a very Lebedic couple, and the poles of the chuppah to me just kind of were almost like ribbons of um, streaming, and it's just streaming, like with lots of bright colors kind of symbolizing their happy energy. And uh, even though it's a Chabad Chasana, I, we decided together to have the Kala's face pretty much show. There's a little bit of a translucent veil um, because it's a painting. It's, it's not supposed to be an accurate um, portrait. It's supposed to be just kind of a, a, a general, uh, incorporated lots of different pictures before the Chuppah, during the Chuppah, after the Chuppah, in in and it's just supposed to be the general symbol of their chasana, but we want to be able to see her beautiful face. Um, just the idea that under the chuppah is their home, and there's a lot of light around, and shechina around the chasana and kala, and of course, light and energy coming out from 770 into the world and into their particular chuppah and home, mitzvah shem. And this is our final portrait, and um, we're very exciting to uh, have this beautiful, I hope, representation of, of the beginning of their beautiful life together and something that they will continue to enjoy.